thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Norman. I'm the market director of the Lane County Farmers Market, for those of you who are just joining us. Was that for me? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll take Farmer's it. Market. I'll take it either way. <laughs> and the uh, market opens tomorrow. It's that time of the year again. Yay! Yay! Yay. Uh, wind permitting. And we'll see what happens with this wind that they're telling us might appear tomorrow. Uh, but come down and not only, we love that you come and support your local artists, and come down tomorrow and support your local farmers. Uh, that's what we do here in Eugene, we support local, I love it. Um, so tonight we're here to talk to Eric Sandgren, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his paintings. And Eric, I, I just have a few questions for you. Sure. I'm really wondering about what inspires you in each of these pieces. Like, and do you have a general inspiration? When you're at a landscape, what is it that catches your eye and inspires you? Well, John Marin had a better answer for that than I. John Marin is a great American modern painter, and he said, well, you go out and you make your bow to the landscape, and then you wait for the landscape to bow back, and then you can paint. So it's some kind of uh, indescribable little response that uh, a painter has. And it's one of the great things about our summer uh, painting out with groups of people too is to see how everybody bows to the landscape in a different way and maybe the better landscape bows back. So some of these places, my inspiration is place. The Oregon coast is what mostly Karin has chosen. And it's such a privilege to be in the group of people that this gallery represents um, uh, for Eugene and also to the whole region. Regional used to be a, a kind of a term of disapprobation in the world of art, but I think it's having new life as people recognize what a wonderful place we live and how much how, how inspiring the places are. So yeah, I would say that my inspiration is the landscape itself and, uh, and the, the painters that I grew up with, including uh, Peg and Mark and my father and Makash and other people who have shown at this gallery. And uh, Humberto Gonzalez is a painter here tonight. Vince Cole is a painter here tonight. And so that's part of my inspiration too. An artist isn't just about the thing that he or she is talking about. It's about the whole milieu and the group of artists and the style that we work in and all that kind of develops together. So I'd say it's a twin inspiration really. Nice, I like yeah. that. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your creative process. So do you paint in spurts? Do you paint regularly? Is it a, a, a practice for you or is it when it strikes you and you just have to paint and get out there outside? Well, I was kind of uh, raised in the painting, in the school of painters that are like William Thackeray as a writer. He went to work every day. He thought an artist ought to work like a cobbler. You just go to your bench and you hammer it out. And the truth is with painting, some days you have better days than others. But if you're not at the bench, you're not there to take advantage of it. So I, I'm one of those people that pretty much works every day. And uh, I'm not necessarily proud of that, it's just I'm not a nice person unless I get to <laughs> wet my brush and fling a little color <laughs> So I try, try to do that uh, most days, really. And then some of these paintings are came out, uh, I'm looking around the room and I can see some were lucky enough to kind of come out in the moment after a few hours of work. And a lot of them I've been working on and off on for five or ten years, actually. The dates are on the back. That's why we don't date them on the front. So it's good days and bad days. And uh, the thing is to just keep at it with, uh, with the joy and the whole, um, I don't know, feeling grateful that you have the circumstances to devote to something like, uh, like, like art, like pain. It's been a privilege. And do you go out just on your own, or do you go with a group? What's your preference there? Well, they both have their they both have their advantages. I think we learn a lot as painters. I mean, if look at a movie, look at how many people it takes to make a movie. And in a way, it takes a lot of people to make a painting too, because we've all had teachers and co-painters and, and and people that have given us critiques and. And this show wouldn't even have been matted properly without my wife. <laughs> so here's the Catherine Cotmore. That's fantastic. And does anyone here have any questions for Eric? Yeah? 
Yes, you, you, Eric, you, you referenced some paintings coming out r really quickly and some more laboriously. Could you yeah. give us a couple of examples of, what, excuse me, what you're speaking of there? Well, this one right here began as a, as a watercolor, and then at some point I think it, I, I, I deemed it a failed watercolor. I have a bunch of those. <laughs> and uh, pitched into it with some acrylic and some gouache over the top, and so long after the fact of being on the beach. Um, whereas this one over here of Seal Rock was pretty much of the day, you know, and uh, I think the important thing is that the judgment about which ones, uh, for me, the judgment of which ones work and maybe which ones don't work so well, that happens over time even if it's a quick painting. Right. You know, so and how many seconds did it, does it take like somebody like Wynton Marcellus or Charlie Parker to lay down a good riff, you know, it's like, as long as it takes maybe 15 seconds and what 30 years of playing just so, <laughs> so yeah, yeah yeah so it's kind of it's kind of the time thing is 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 kind of difficult to 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 construe sure. certainly i don't have a formula about it i just take what i can thank you yeah and what about that completion moment like what is it that you sense inside of you to know that it's it's complete well i wish i knew the answer to that i just <laughs> I don't. I don't have a. It, there. I've done a little bit of programming and math. I hate almost arithmetic. Nothing more than arithmetic. But you know, those things have aha moments, and you realize when they've come together, and you go, "Yeah, that's it." And paintings, not so much. I just they they just kind of drop out, and then I look at them for a while, and the ones that don't bother me are the ones that make it into the shows, and then I just keep pegging on the others. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Do you, sorry, do you uh, prefer which medium do you prefer, or do you not have a preference? Well, I love aqueous media really, and uh, and and so I think that that is everything that it has for which the solvent is water: egg tempera, gouache, watercolor, acrylic. And uh, every once in a while, there are a couple oils in the show. I do an oil to. Um, and maybe I just don't know how to handle them, but I just want to assure myself that I'm not missing anything with that medium. But I think it's wonderful for a painter to work in different media, and one effort criticizes another. They don't all have to turn out so well. But I love the water media. It never quite stays where you put it. <laughs> and I need the accidents. <laughs> Did you have a question? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to draw? My favorite so the question thing is, to draw. What is your favorite thing to draw? Flies. <laughs> I draw flies. I draw curtains very well too. <laughs> and um, I draw every once in a while. I can draw a crowd. <laughs> and so that may be my very favorite thing. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, cool. Any other questions? Fantastic. Go ahead and take a look around. And we'll be doing a drawing for tickets to uh, Eugene Ballet's Here Gint performance next week. So Mary Ann, if you can wave your hand, she's in the back there. Find her and fill out a ticket if you'd like to be included in that drawing. And uh, we'll be doing that in about eight minutes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Speaking of drawing.
Zach Wolf and the Zach Wolf Band. Uh, that's the gentleman in the middle looking dashy. And a uh, great guitarist. And, uh, and we're the band. Hey, we do want to thank uh, Mackenzie Mist over there. Yes. Go, great water, guys. Just amazing. Uh, they, they, they give the water for us. And so if you need some water, folks, go over there, Mackenzie Mist. Put it in your offices. Put it in your car. Put, put a big bottle in your car while you're driving. And you can get a big straw and put it in the back seat. Great water.
Thank you very much.
right.
next one is called Bag of Loot. <laughs>
This is about making uh, something out of things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm showing sure, yeah. you. That is awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Anyway, it's a challenge to me. I don't know what the heck I was doing, but it turns out. <laughs> and tell us about what inspired you to get involved with this particular challenge. What does this challenge mean to you? Oh, gosh, just for the community. And I mean, I am at Mecca every week. I think, like, um, I teach classes myself. And so I'm always here to get materials and to buy things for my work. And so it's just kind of a no-brainer to be involved in this every year. And plus, because of the challenge, it's just good for my brain to do this. So, yeah. Fantastic. And does anyone in the crowd have any questions for either Cindy or Heather? About Mecca, the challenge, the artwork? Yeah. Yeah, when did it start? And is it based on some other program? And what offshoots have come in other cities as a result of this? Yes. Here's Heather. So it started 10 years ago, and it was the brainchild of our lovely Miha over here. Um, so there was a lot going on in the community that we really wanted to bring um, this kind of art into the community. We wanted to bring recycled art, reuse art, working with um, recycled materials, scrap art, and bring it out into the sphere of, of high art and fine art, because it is just as important, and it's just as good. Right? And so we just wanted to really showcase that. So that was the inception, and that was the brainchild, and it's really kind of stayed that way. Um, the mission of the event is, is, like I said, to challenge ourselves to reuse materials and to challenge artists to brave a new creative approach and to um, inspire the community to look at materials a little bit differently and to look at scrap art a little bit differently and think about, oh, well, that might be made out of recycled materials, but look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Any other questions? I have a question for you, Heather. Oh, yay. <laughs> What's the most unusual thing that is like, that surprises you that's the most popular thing that people purchase here at Mecca that you wouldn't think that comes in through the door? Oh, my gosh. That's so... Uh, everything. Um, it's... So we get things that are just mind-bendingly like, oh, really? Here's some avocado pips. What are you going to do with those avocado pips? Someone will take those avocado pips and do something with those avocado pips, and they do. So um, it, that's really hard to answer. It's probably easier to say what the strangest material yeah. we have, like the bag of chicken bones that we had that one time that said, sorry, vegetarians. That was a little weird. Um, but it happens, true story. Um, but people love to make things with really odd things. Every time we get ceramic doll parts, people get really excited for those. Um, pop tops are fantastic. Um, teachers make really wonderful things from um, items in our warehouse, just using like egg cartons and toilet paper tubes. And there's so many times that I see lists from teachers saying, please save your cereal boxes and uh, cardboard tubes and your bottle caps so we can make a community art projects. And it's like, no, come to Mecca, we have all these things. So people are doing really fantastic things with the materials that we have on hand and we have a lot of materials so our artistic community in Lane County is, is pretty impressive so that was a very roundabout answer but people are fantastically creative out here. I like it and tell the people how they can donate and win. We, um, we take in materials every day that we're open, so that's Tuesday through Friday, 11, um, 11 to 5.30, we close our donation door half an hour before we close so that we can bring the materials inside, and then on Saturday from 11 to 5. There's a lot of information online, so check us out um, on our website and on our Facebook page with all kinds of things that you can and cannot donate, and some of the things that we can inspire you to do with them. Fantastic. And for those of you who are just joining, my name is Angela Norman, and I'm the market director at the Lane County Farmer's Market, which opens tomorrow. So please come and uh, not only support your local artists as you are tonight, but come and support your local farmers tomorrow and every Saturday for the rest of your life. Um, and um, we also want to thank our sponsors tonight, the Eugene Ballet, and also our media sponsor, Eugene Magazine, without them the artwork wouldn't exist tonight. So thank you to our sponsors. Let's give them a little love and then take a look at the artwork, everyone. And the artwork tonight for this show is on the orange walls in the building, so up in the front as we walked in, and also here to your front and back. So thank you, everyone, for coming on the Art Walk with us tonight. We're not doing it tonight, right?
Yeah.